Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Playframe. I did a lot of hunting out in the hunting area. What do they call it? Hunting range. That's a better name than hunting area. And I got all the stuff we needed, and I turned it in for all the stuff we wanted. So we've got a new weapon on Chrono, the Eon Blade. Uh, Marl has the Dream Bow. We've also got Magma Hand, which is, I am guessing, for Robo, and the Dream Gun, which uh, has got to be Luca. So, now that we're all set, and I didn't get any of the armor because I think it was the same armor that was the option before, and we've got plenty of that already. We're pretty good on that front, and I just didn't want to bother anymore. Anyway, let's go. Let's leave, I think. Where's our exit? Uh, I guess it's south of here. Down here, and then... Yeah, here we go, right here. Thank you, Dactyl. Then we'll run up this way. Excuse me. Pardon me. Don't mind me. Not here for a fight. Bye. Then up this way. And we drop on down to the end of time. Woo! Let's catch up with everybody. Hello, hello. How's it going? How are you all? And how are you? Aha! So you've been to the land of magic. Now that the pillar of light is sealed, you'll be needing something that will transport you through time. I recall someone working on such a device. The Wings of Time, I believe he called it. I'm afraid he became a tad psychotic spending so much of his time doing research. Hmm. Maybe that's where we're headed in the future, but not yet. Like I said, we've got some wandering about to do. Who do we want our squad to be? Luca, you've not been in our squad in a while. Let's get you in here. Don't you need my brain power? Yes, we do. See, you do need me. We so do. We got you a new gun. Ayla, take a, take a break for a bit. You're leveled higher than just about anybody. Frog, you'll get in next time. And you, Robo, also. All right. Cool, let's get you equipped with new things, like a dream gun, which is way better, and a rock helm, and yep, cool. Everything's great. Do you need a sight scope? I don't think you do. Let's see if we can get you something better. Like, that'll make you more damaging with your basic attacks. Uh, More magic damage. More speed. Speed may not be bad. And you can also be involved in Dark Eternal. Okay, so it's you, Marl, and question mark. Maybe Robo. But I can't swap out anybody. Like, Chrono has to be in the party, so I don't think we can just use this at all for a while. Unless, you know what? Here, equip it. We'll see if anything pops up. Tech. Nope. Uh, well, let's go get in a fight and see if anything happens. Anyway, welcome to the squad. Uh, let's do that, and, um, actually, come to think of it, uh, for a second, Ayla, jump in real quick, because, uh, Lucas, sit tight, we'll be right back with you, but we need to get you in here, for your magic and such. Hello. You look different. Did you do something with your hair? All right, sweetheart. Unfortunately, you were born before magic existed, but you seem to have other skills that'll get you by. Hi, looking for some practice? Nah, no, not really, no. Anytime, friends. Remember, I'm the master of war. Cool. All right, no magic for you then. You do have great abilities already. It's not like you needed it. That's fine. All right, Luca, you're back in. Congratulations. Join squad. Thank you. Cool. All right. We got some time hopping to do, everybody. There's sealed items and chests and goodies every which away, and we need to get them. So, uh, I believe the first place we're gonna go is not here. Where do all these go again? Nope. 600 AD, everybody. Come on, where are we go? Here we go. Okay. To 600 AD. Whoosh! All right, we're back. 600 AD, we're in the Guardia Forest, and we're gonna start uh, picking up a bunch of these sealed chest items. Now, some of these have a pretty fun trick to them, um, which we may or may not even take advantage of, but these, the ones I'm going to hit up first, don't. These are just ones you can go, uh, find where they are, and pick them up. And here's one right here. 
and it just opens. And we got a speed tab. Nice. All right. The next one, I believe, is in the magic cave in the same time period. So, see you in a second. And here we are. And what do we get? A magic ring. Nice. What does that do? I think it's just, like, boosts our magic stat. I assume. Magic ring. By plus six. That's quite good, actually. I would equip that. I wish we had more accessory slots for everyone. Because, like... There's a lot of good accessories that do lots of things in this game, but there are some that are just so good, it's really hard to justify using other things, like the silver studs, and later you get gold studs that reduce MP usage, which allow you to use your big spells way more often. Like, stuff like that is really hard to give up. It makes me wish that everyone had two slots, so you could, like, have one for those sort of easy gimme choices, and other ones for more, like, interesting, creative, uh like uh, versatility choices, but well, whatever. Anyway, we've got a few more items to pick up here in this time, and there's some interesting ones, so see you in a bit. All right, we're down in the village of Pore, and we need to find the elder's house. Here we are. Now, the case with some of these, there's, there's an interesting thing. There are some of these chests that exist uh, at specific times, and there are some that exist uh, in multiple times simultaneously. So, like, a couple of these chests, I think, also exist in the year 1000. Now, if I open them now and collect the item inside them, then they will have a cool item in them, and that's great. If I choose to not open them... Uh, so let's see here what happens. Uh, something inside's reacting to the pendant. Remove the object? No, I'm going to refuse to do that. And in doing so with both of these... There we go. I, I don't remember if I have to interact with them here in this time first for it to work or not, but um, if I go to these same chests in the year 1000, they'll still be here, and they will have a better version of this item in them, which is pretty cool. Even better, if I go to the year 1000 AD, collect that better item, and then come back here again, I can collect the not-as-good item <laughs> from them back here in the past, too. A little bit time paradoxy, but it's pretty good. Granted, the item's not as good, so I may not go to the trouble of backtracking here just to collect those items again, but uh, it's a cool thing you can do. And there's some more chests like that in this time that we need to... Um, I'm really not sure if I have to click on them and refuse to pick up the item here for them to be upgraded in the future, but just in case, we might as well. The items are good, so see you in a bit. All right, it turns out we weren't actually going very far. We're just at True's End. <laughs> like 10 seconds have passed. Anyway, uh, the inn, I believe, had a, one of these chests upstairs. Yes. This box has been in the family for generations. Uh, take item new. All right. And the last one is going to be in Guardia Castle, which actually isn't that far, so maybe we'll just... Maybe we won't cut ahead this time. Maybe we'll just walk. We're still allowed in this castle, right? We haven't done anything to... Oh, right, no, it's... It's the castle in our time that might be off limits. Or might not. Maybe we can still go back. Not 100% sure. Guess we're gonna have to if we're gonna collect. Which side was this chest on? Was it... This side? I'm gonna say it was this side. Uh... Whoop, hang on. So, nope. 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 Um, darn, wrong side. I'm not going to be hyper-completionist in this playthrough, by the way, though there are a lot of side quests in Chrono Trigger, and most all of them, like, it's not just for like goodies and ultimate weapons and items you do get those but it also like a lot of great stories in them so i'm gonna do as many of those as i can here we go and at that point i'm definitely gonna start like consulting a guide <laughs> more i've already started doing it a little bit just to like to refresh on like oh yeah here's where all these chests are and here's how, how you do the thing with them but the side quests if you don't know actually how to do them uh it could take a while wandering around trying to find everything, and that would just be kind of annoying to watch, so I'll be following a guide a little more closely for those. Because there's lots of good, like... There's lots of good seeds and uh, content and those side uh, side quests you can do 
before going and finishing the game. And I don't want to miss any of it because it's it's some good stuff. So, um, I think we're done in this time period. So I think we're heading to uh, the year 1000 now. Present day for some of us. And it's going to take me a second to get back there. So see you in a bit. And here we are. Sorry again. Still eating dessert, I see. Okay. You know, while we're here, first things first, these. This, I really think this might be that, that, that something <laughs> from the year 12,000 BC. I think it might be the thing. My pendant. Cool. Oh, hello. The seal's been broken. I'll give you the treasure of the Guru of Reason. To the right is a weapon which increases strength. To the left is protective gear which will guard your life. Choose whichever you feel you need and take it with you. Alright, you can only take one of these. 13,000 years was a long time. Belthazar, I shall see you shortly. You've been waiting a very long time with that message. All right. Uh, so the item on the right is a weapon for Chrono, which is good, but there are stronger swords in the game. So it, this will only do you so much good for so long. Uh, this I think is better and uh, is more useful for a longer time. So let's, let's go with this, I think. A safe helm. I forget what all it does. Uh, let's put it on Marl, our healer right now. Good boost in defense and also cuts physical damage by a third. That's very useful. You are defended. All right. Also, I don't know for sure, but I have a suspicion. Let's go back to the square. Because, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's not Megas' statue anymore. Now it's Ozzy's. <laughs> we done changed things somewhat. Anyway, all right. I need to get us back to the other side. Is Melchior here? I wonder if, yeah, I wonder if Melchior has anything to say. Do you? This weapon represents considerable power. Your actions may either save or destroy life. Wield your sword with full knowledge of the consequences. Would you like to buy something? No, I had questions, but if you're going to dodge them, then fine. I'll not buy any of this old, bad weaponry. Um. Nope, we're good. Thank you. Is that it? Okay. Oh, goodness. Forgot all about this one. Uh, or, hmm. Yeah, I didn't remember this one being here at all. Can I just open it? Yes. Cool. <laughs> huh? There's something else in here. Well, what in the world? A dash ring. Cool. Neat. Maybe I was supposed to go check on this one in the past, too. Whatever. Again, I'm not being completionist about this. I'm mostly just trying to get back across the water where those other chests that I intentionally didn't open yet are. And, boy, I'm just glad there's no monsters in here anymore. That would have made going through here and getting back to the other side of the ocean more of a pain in the butt. Whee! Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> but we're here. All right. Let's start with Truce Inn. Uh, do 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 do. Yeah, there you are. Open it. Blue vest powers up. Found a blue mail. Yeah. So I think this one is like water and ice elemental defense. It might actually be absorption. Uh, whatever. Whether it's like 
water damage reduction or absorption, it's more of it. Like, I think it, it would have been like 30% before and it's like 50% now, or maybe it was like 50% and 100%. I don't remember for sure. It's better, is the point. Uh, let's go down to uh, the one down here in the Elder's house first, because I don't know what's going to happen when I go <laughs> to Guardia Castle. I haven't been there since we fled trial. Uh, yeah, here we go. Hey, kid. Everyone says daddy's greedy. They're lying, right? Can't remember. White vest powered up. Black vest powered up. Yay! Good. Now then. Oh, right, also the magic cave down here. I almost forgot. Can't be forgetting that. The... Oh, this cave isn't the one, I guess, anymore. Like, this cave doesn't exist anymore. I guess uh, the powered-up item I got was in that Hecron cave on the way back over. The one I had forgotten was, in fact, the one <laughs> that was in this cave in the past. That's a little confusing. Whatever. To the castle! Okay, let's see how this goes. Don't mind me, everyone, I'm just... Princess Nadia! Oh, boy. I've been worried, princess. I understand your pain, but the king really only cares about his realm. Yes, even when your mother, Queen Elisa, passed away, he worked all day. No one could do that. It's inhuman. Oh, child, it's ancient history now. Tell me more. This may be difficult. Well, Queen Elisa's condition suddenly changed for the worst. She desperately wanted to see the king one last time, but he couldn't find time to drop by said he had some work to do. But knowing nothing about death, you waited faithfully by your mother's side. Eliza passed away in sorrow. It's as if the king indirectly killed her. Such a shame. What? Father killed my mother? Well, what do I know? There are reasons for everything, right, dear? Now, so glad to see you back again. Please, go and visit the king. Sorry, Marl, I didn't know we were signing you up for heaviness and bad guidance. What a greeting, man. We've been gone for just a little while. <laughs> Be cool. Oh, Nadia. What do you want? I'm not giving in to your demands. It's your fault for leaving the castle and letting these hoodlums in here. Hey, you might as well beg for bread on the street corner. Stop it! They're my friends. They're a disgrace to this family. Father, you... You care more about your country than me, or Mother. What? You... You killed Mother! No, wait, listen, we just got that from the Chancellor. You don't have to... Get, get out of here this instant! I never want to see your face again! Good riddance! This is... We just came to rob the place... We're no longer family. Do as you wish. Oh, woe is me. Is you? Oh, whatever. Let's steal things. This has otherwise been a mistake. Hey, red mail! Very good. Is there anything else to steal in here? I noticed there were some chests that were unopened. Hey. I love how I can just barge into the king's room here. <laughs> Even though we are very much not wanted. After his wife's death, he only lived for Princess Nadia. I'm getting mixed messages here. And a full ether. From your room. I've got nothing to say. Okay, me either, honestly. See ya! Okay, I've robbed the joint, <laughs> cleaned it out, well, mostly, um, there's probably some other chests I missed, but swiped a bunch of stuff from the castle at things, come on. Anyway, we're done with this time period, is what I'm saying, and Marl, you alright? Maybe this is what the uh, safe helm does, maybe you're just all super defended, and so you get a little yellow glow and an interesting pose. 
You take less damage, and that's nice. Anyway. We are done in this time period. We're going to the future. I'll see you all there! All right, we're in the future now. And this is where the story is going to continue, but not just yet. We need to go to a few of the domes. Uh, to check out some of the doors there. Um, can we just... You know, I guess doing the bike ride is going to be faster, huh? I think we could go on foot, but we might have to do a whole bunch of fights. And that's no good. Plus, this way we get to listen to the jams again. And beat this chump in a race. I mean, whether we win or not, I think we're on the other side. Boy, Mario Kart rubber banding has nothing on this. Zoom! <laughs> Sucker! You've been defeated again! And I will accept this Mode 7 as my reward. Very good. All right. You beat me? I don't get it. You can challenge me right. Okay, whatever. Bye! Okay. Uh, which one of these do we want to hit up? No. That's where we're going when we want to continue the story, I think. Uh, let's stop by here first. The Aris Dome. Um, both to see if there's doors here and to, uh, just to talk to the people, too. Hey, it's those people again. Yeah, do you all have anything new to say? Daddy's on a trip. Oh, yeah. But I haven't given up. This child and this seed are still growing. Since you've come, we've gained the courage to live. That's great. That's very good. You can reach the continent to the south through the sewer access, but stay off of Death Peak. I plan to, unless that's where I have to go next. wonder what kind of fruit this is going to bear. Hey, fellas. Look, the seed sprouted. Oh, yeah. Yay. There's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. The door with the crest? Dynamite won't budge it. I got an idea what might, though. It's down below. Pardon me. All right. Which side was the door on? Um. Pardon me. Pardon me. I want to say it was... Oh, it was the other side. Shoot. Do, 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 do. Wait, how does this work? Oh, no, I need to go... Okay, right. Gotta go down here. Ignore bugs. Yeah, here we go. Go this way, and I think I'm going the right way, I hope. Maybe. Hopefully. Pardon me. Eh. But I don't want fights, though. Darn it. Well, here, this will clear the field pretty quick. Overkill, perhaps, but... Whatever. Get out of here. Come on, squad. By the way, we're very well equipped now. Those, uh, those vests, or the mail or whatever, yeah, uh, that I've equipped on us has very good defense and also absorbs various uh, elements and such. Uh, so... And I basically got everybody absorbing their current element right now. Chrono will absorb lightning. Uh, Robo will absorb shadow. Uh, Luca will absorb fire. We will have to uh, keep passing those around between people. They seem very good. Here we go. The pendant begins to glow and we're in. Yeah, look at all that. Goodies abound. A lumen robe. Elixir. Hit ring. Gold earring. That 
Something about that sounds really good. Hang on. Uh... So what are all these things? A wall ring, magic defense plus 10, that's great. Dash ring, speed plus 3, that's very good. Uh... Hit ring, strike plus 10, that's awesome for, uh, Luca and Marl. And max HP up by 50%, that's very good. Robo, you might be, like, ultra tank in a second here. Honestly, Luca, I'm gonna have you wear this for a while. Actually, no. This will bump up your speed. That's gonna, uh, make an even bigger difference, I think. Robo, we're improving your earring, and you are tanky as all heck now. Level 26 and 787 HP. I think... I don't think we get up into the thousands in this game. I think if you get up to 999, I think you're capped out. Might be wrong about that, but I think. It's been a while. Anyway, I'm gonna get us to another dome. I'll see y'all in a bit. Okay, here we are at Bangor Dome. Where we first arrived. Honestly, I might, after we check the other dome out, I might try going into this gate and see if it takes us back to the end of time, because if that gives us another way to get here, to where I don't have to go through all those dang labs again, <laughs> uh, to get to this half of the future, that'd be pretty nice. Charm top, full ether, and a wallet. Um. <laughs> what are these? What are these? A wallet turns experience into gold. Oh, that's kind of cool. And the other one, I believe, a charm top, I think, is just for Ayla. Ayla has a technique we haven't learned yet called charm, which is basically the same as steel. Uh, so we'll try that on Ayla later. Increased steel chance would be great. Honestly, being able to steal would also be great. Hopefully she'll learn that soon. Hey, how are you folks doing? It's been a while. Got any cash? Uh, yeah. Call us money? Oh, well, I have some good stuff. Not in terms of weapons and armor, no, but in terms of this other stuff, yes. I'll definitely take some of these. I got the money for it. Thank you. And this is great. You know, I'll take a few more of those and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. Thank you very much. Save money, it'll do you good. That's my motto. Yeah, no, you seem to be doing great. So there are people in Aris Dome too. That there are, and they have a plant. Wait, you have a plant! Where'd you get a plant? What's this? A plant? What's that? You light up my life. No, really. <laughs> well, good. Never seen anything like this. <sighs> Whew, finally got through the ruins. I brought the sapling that sprang from the seed. Amazing what you can do when you think you're gonna expire. Well, good. Now you both have one and you... That's two chances. That's awesome. This edible? Now I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna rest in the Enertron. Okay. Let's open a door. Stand back, everyone. Ooh. A tab? Yeah. I need to start using more of those. Which is what I say every time. Uh, full ether and... gold stud. Ooh, that's awesome. That... I will probably give to Marl. Honestly, what's Rage Bands doing for you? Oh, it's getting you a counterattack, which is good. Maybe I'll put that on Ayla instead. Because magic use cut by 75% is very good. That's a lot of lightning, too, I can cast. Maybe to be better on somebody else, but, um. I'll sit on it for now. Uh, for the time being. Yeah, I'll sit on it for the time being. That's probably going to Marl, but then the silver stud she's got will go to either Chrono... Probably Chrono, is my guess. Let's see, I don't want to have to wander through this dome again, or that lab, because it's a bunch of fights and it sucks. Let's see if this takes me to the end of time. That'd be the best. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Did it just give me another one, too? Was this here? 
Guardia Forest 1080. Oh, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll take me to the... Awesome. Nice. Just missing two. All right. Um... Right, we're going back to the future. Okay. Uh, from here? No. From here. Yes. I never guess right the first time. All right, I'm gonna have to ride a bike again in order to get to the sewer access because the sewer is where we need to go. Because that's where the last door is, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. The last door that we want to get to is through the sewers. And, like, we went through the sewers last time, episodes ago, you'll probably remember. Uh, but we got to a place where we were blocked off by, uh, that, by a door of that kind. And that's where we're gonna go again. So, uh, let me win the bike race and I'll be, uh, back with you in the sewers. See you in a bit. Okay, won the race. Now, we're gonna go through the sewers and I worry that all the monsters are back but we did open up a shortcut last time we were here a few of them i think i don't see any monsters this is great uh so maybe wait there's a few maybe we can just sneak on by and go here yes perfect and now the keeper's dome this is where we're gonna go yeah Keeper's Dome. Yes. Hello there. The professor's programming was, in a sense, his own eulogy. Soon I too will be able to sleep forever. But first, there's one thing I must do. Program error. My memory banks have failed. Aw. Well, you have a nap then. Hmm, no power there. Well... How do I... Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Let's go... I don't suppose either of these... Nope. Okay. In we go. Let's see what's hiding behind this door. Ooh. Huh? To those who opened the door. I am Balthazar, the guru of reason. I once lived in the kingdom of zeal. A great disaster in zeal somehow threw me into this era. To my surprise, Lavos exists here, and I suspect in other periods as well. Eons ago, Lavos descended from the heavens. Burrowing deep into the world's core, he began to consume our planet's energy and grow stronger. Lavos disappeared briefly when he was summoned away by a mighty wizard who lived in Guardia in the year 600. In 1999, Lavos claims this area and reigns from high atop Death Peak. Lavos continues to replicate like a giant parasite he is consuming our world. Forced to live here, I continued to conduct research on Lavos, but I'm growing old. And it's impossible to keep sane in such trying times, so before I lose it completely, I shall safeguard my data and my ultimate creation. How I long to return home, but I've grown frail. So you, you, who have opened the door, I leave things in your hands. Only by mastering time itself do you stand a chance against Lavos? The odds will be against you, but you are true heroes. The world is in your hands. Open now the last door and take what you find there, my last invention. My wings of time. Ooh. The pendant shimmers. Hey. Neat. All right. Um How do we What do we How do we Um How do Oh. 
This must be the invention Balthazar spoke of. The wings of time. I believe I have heard of this device. So... How do we, um... I'm confused. Luca, help. What if we go back down here? Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, we needed a little ramp or something. Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Belthazar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Anyway, there's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press the Y button for the time gauge. Then use the L and R buttons to select an era. Oh, yeah, before you go, why don't you... Um, the uh, Balthazar? Uh, name my time machine. All right. The Epoch, that's pretty good. Yep, I like that. We will stick with that. Hop aboard. We shall. Instructions for the time machine are as follows. The Y button displays the time gauge. Use the L and R buttons at control pad to select the destination in time. Press the A button to board and get off the device and to warp through time. End professor's message. Hey, buddy. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. All right. Um... Cool. Mumble, mumble. Uh, let's get off just in case it has anything more to say. I'm guessing it's just going to uh, give me instructions, but let's check. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. My bad. Let's board the epoch. Let's take off. All right. This is going to be way easier for time traveling. Let's go. Yeah, the end of time. That's where I want to be. Whoa. Unbelievable energy, as if the sum total of all the human spiritual power that has ever existed were somehow being amplified. Traveling at warp speed? Epoch's capable of this? Yeah. Let's disembark. Hey. Yes? You know what we did? We got a time machine. Interesting. So he actually finished the Wings of Time. In fact, gave his life for it. Why not put that device to good use? Take it to the ancient land of magic. Come see me any time. Think of me as your guide. Will do. Yeah, now we can get back to 12,000 BC without that dang, uh, gate that got blocked off. So awesome. We can finish our business there. Great. We're going to do that next week, though. Things are going to get really exciting. <laughs> and uh, then, I don't remember how long it, uh, how long stuff lasts once we get there, but we're not super far from the end of the game. But uh, especially with all the side quests and side st stories and stuff we're going uh, to do, it, we've still got some time left, so don't you worry. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you on Monday for some more Chrono Trigger. Goodbye!